In this video, we're going to be making sure that all of our audio and video media work correctly. And the process is going to be just like when we went through and looked for occurrences of our instructor name, the term, CRN, and so on. Except this time we'll be paying particular attention to any video files. Now this can include videos that are embedded on pages that we've authored ourselves or gotten from somewhere else. And it can also include links to external video. It's important that we make sure that everything works. So I'm just going to start with the news items. And uh, I happen to notice that I still have Robert here instead of Mark, so I'm going to go ahead and correct that now. And I'm just looking for any links or any video. I don't see anything here. So I'm going to go to the content. Now the OIO Prep Your Course section um, has a lot of video in it, which you're watching now. Um, so I've already checked that, and I hope that it's working for you. So we'll start with course information, what the student actually sees. And I'm just going to flick through one page at a time really quickly and look for any video links. If I had an instructor introduction, I would want to check that, that had a, a video orientation. Oops. Nothing in the syllabus. Nothing in the course calendar. Nothing in introduce yourself. particularly important to check any content pages that you have. So here's a six minute video from the Copyright Clearance Center. So I'm going to click on that. And we'll make sure this works. So seems to work okay. Let's go to the end here. Alright. Now one thing you want to make note of, let me pause this. One thing you want to make note of is uh, it's always a good idea to link to caption videos whenever possible. And I don't see any closed captioning on this. Oh, hide closed captions, so let's go ahead and show closed captions. So if I right, so there are captions on this video. That's good. Um, so let's continue looking. That one's okay. Copyright Resource Center, probably not a video link. So that looks like it for module one. So here's a link, and I'm not sure exactly what it is, so I'm going to take a look at it. And it's not a video, it's just um, it's actually um, an expert system that will help you to determine whether um, you're covered under the TEACH Act or not. Text. And so that's it. Looks like we checked all of the video and everything works.